This lesson describes the communication methods and related essential hardware components necessary for RS Logics 500 software to connect to an SLC 500 processor. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to list the communication protocols used by SLC 500 processors for communication with RS Logics 500 software and identify the hardware components necessary for RS Logics 500 software to communicate with an SLC processor. To go online and communicate with an SLC 500 processor using RS Logics 500 software, these basic components are needed. A computer running RS Logics 500 and RS Lynx software. A communication method, and if needed, a communication device, such as a communication module or card. An appropriate communication cable. And an SLC 500 processor. We can choose from several communication protocols or methods, including RS-232 or serial communication, DH-485, DH+, and Ethernet. Our application requirements and the type of SLC 500 processor being used determine the communication methods we can use to go online. Each SLC processor has built-in communication capabilities, but the capability varies by model. This chart displays the onboard communication capability of each SLC processor. Notice that the SLC 505 supports both Ethernet and RS-232 from its front panel communication channels, while the SLC 504 supports Data Highway Plus and RS-232 communications. Let's take a look at some typical hardware configurations for the various communication methods. Let's begin by looking at the hardware requirements for serial communications. With the SLC 503, 504, and 505 processors, a computer can directly connect to channel 0 on the processor via a standard RS-232 cable. This configuration provides for easy, direct communication with an SLC processor. Next, let's explore the hardware requirements for communications via a DH-485 network. If we want to connect a computer directly to an SLC 500 processor via a DH-485 connection, we can use an SLC 503 processor and a 1747 UIC module, which is a USB or Universal Serial Bus to DH-485 interface converter. The 1747 UIC module connects to the computer's USB port and to an SLC 503 processor's DH-485 or RS-232 connector. The UIC module receives its power from the computer's USB port. If we wanted a computer and an SLC 503 processor to each be independently connected to a DH-485 network, we would need to add a 1747 AIC link coupler module. This type of configuration requires that an AIC module be installed between a UIC module and an SLC 503 processor. In this way, an SLC processor and a computer are each separately connected to the DH-485 network and can communicate with other devices in addition to each other. An AIC link coupler module is externally powered and allows direct connectivity to a DH-485 network via a 6-pin Phoenix connector. Let's say we're adding an SLC-505 processor to our plant, which has an existing DH-485 network. An SLC-505 processor doesn't have onboard DH-485 connectivity capabilities. So to use a DH-485 network to communicate to an SLC-505 processor, we can use an AIC Plus Advanced Interface Module. An AIC Plus module converts an RS-232 serial interface to DH-485, but unlike a UIC module, it can be internally or externally powered. Like a UIC module, an AIC Plus module allows direct connectivity to a DH-485 network. <laughs>